Welcome back. Maddie and I continued our appreciation of farm animals by visiting the multi-generational Anuxted farm just right down the road. They have cattle at many points of their life cycle, moving them from one barn to the next as they age. We got an inside look at just how much work goes into this labor of love. I really love it when my calves are healthy and eating well. My goal is to grow them, you know, make sure they're eating well and grow up to be healthy and then they move on to the next place on the dairy farm and my brother-in-law or my husband or my son Matthias who's joined us recently um, can take care of them and ultimately the goal of these female calves in the calf barn is to um, have them come back into our operation as a milking um, cow and that takes about two years. The milk goes to the plant and cheese gets made you know within a couple days the cheese is, is made and in the cooler. My mother-in-law Lois was the calf manager and so she fed the baby calves and I kind of learned the techniques from her through the years and now as she is 96 she's pretty much retired. Before my husband Rolf and I moved back to his family's dairy farm um, we had uh, off, I guess you could call them off-farm jobs. Um, we lived in Iowa. He was a research scientist. I was a freelance dairy, mostly dairy, but some other agricultural writer. And then we made the choice to leave those careers and come back to the farm and be here full time. So there's a 4-H leasing program, which we're a part of here at Annexted Dairy, and it's a really a Everybody gets involved um, on our farm. With the kids who come here during the summer, they choose their calves. They'll be choosing, you know, from some of these calves and then also some older ones that are out of the calf barn. And then at the county fair in Nicollet County, they'll show their calves. So they work all summer to train their animals to lead and to um, learn about how they're fed and how they're cared for. All of these calves walking down the way, March 8th, had two of them that day had one on the 9th, so it was a busy time frame. And then here's um, one born the 13th, and her mama's name is Rel. And Rel is a very spectacular cow, and she's named after a U of M um, professor's wife, Rel Sikora. In honor of, of Rel Sikora, we named the mama of this one Rel. So we'll be trying to figure out what to name her baby eventually. And Oh my gosh, those little calves were so cute. Yeah. But Maddie, okay, cow names, go. Uh, Betsy, Beth, Molly, um, <laughs> uh, Carmen. I kind of like like tarantula. Um, oh, come on. I do not like names of animals that are just like <laughs> other animal names. That's so silly. That's so silly. I'm thinking like Esmeralda. Or like Cloud. Potato. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with us. We'll wrap things up when we come back after the break.